A new interview on Larry King Now, Jurassic World 2 star James Cromwell has revealed how his character in the new film is connected to the original Jurassic Park movie. Director J.A. Bayona looks to continue Trevorrow's relaunch of the franchise, and following the announcement that Jeff Goldblum has signed on to reprise his role as Ian Malcolm, it appears that the sequel will have heavy ties to the movie that started it all. Speaking about his character, Cromwell said, The character Richard Attenborough played, I'm his partner, Benjamin Lockwood. We've developed the technology of being able to clone the genes, and so I'm trying to deal with the blowback from what we have done. Perry, buy or sell Cromwell's character and connections from Jurassic Park. Hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I, I have to sell this. And I'm, I'm not going to go as far to say I don't like this idea for this character. And that's going to make Jurassic World 2 a terrible movie. There are so many good things that that movie has going for it, especially Bayona as a director. It's just this, to me, makes no sense at all. And I, I really don't like the idea especially after having seen Independence Day Resurgence, where that wasn't a good movie overall, but one of my biggest problems with that is that certain things happen in that movie where now when I go back and I watch the first one, I got to rethink who certain people are, knowing what happens to them. And this is a similar thing, where now, because I know that this character is going to exist in Jurassic World 2, I don't know if I'll be able to go back and watch all the original movies without wondering, well, where was this guy? What was he up to? Again, for all I know, when we see the full feature, they're going to have a great reason for why he wasn't around and his name was never mentioned. But right now, this sounds a little weird to me. I'm going to buy it. I know it's a retcon. They're, they're doing, I have a feeling they're doing it because Richard Attenborough is, is 90 years old and they're not going to be able to get him into this. And they wanted that type of character to come in that like helped create this technology and then has some sort of guilt towards it and I, I hope they don't turn him into some sort of black and white villain and they, they actually explore that part of his character and, and James Cromwell ever since you know LA Confidential for me yeah he yeah I, I think he fits this role really well Roca yeah uh, well he's I buy it I buy it uh Edinburgh's dead, I think. He died in 2014, I think. Did he? I yeah. think. From what I'm looking at Wikipedia, it says yeah. uh -huh. it says August 24th, 2014. Okay. So they obviously can't bring it back. But I think their premise to bring him is to bring the idea of an older guy who was part of this process. Who was the, So they're basically trying to evoke the Attenborough spirit by having James Cromwell step in for it. So I get the logic of it. I do buy the logic of it because you kind of have to almost create a villain. And Cromwell plays great villains when he does it. I mean, he might be the villain of the well, movie. Well, we don't. That's the thing is we yeah. don't know and that's that's really the only thing that makes this character somewhat interesting yeah, is right. the whole idea that this movie is going to be about dino rights and yeah. if he was involved with this whole creation process to begin with what side of that line is he going to fall on yeah and that's why i'm buying it uh, so yeah with perry said, <laughs> <laughs> like i said so I, was, I was gonna make that point but i'm perry thank you um yeah but that's the thing i don't you don't know what's in cromwell is so great at playing both villains and good guys like we saw in babe so i think he's the great choice for this because what, what's his face uh um uh, bd wong was kind of a villain in in jurassic world so you're having him come back this makes sense the fact that he's admitting that he's part of this process and sometimes we hear about this all the time like people who two people who could create well there's a silent partner and the face partner right you know this what happens most of the time like we just saw the waffle house the two guys just died within three weeks of each other yesterday so it's just really interesting these things that happen what? so it could work yeah it, it happened so it could work and i and i think this is another way for them to open the door to sam neil and laura dern coming back too because it may just be this connection too so you're going to bring everybody back eventually from the original first film which i think would be great and i would like to see that happen i love the goldblums coming back you know you brought up babe i buy a shared universe where james cromo is a farmer <laughs> growing talking pigs and the talking pigs have to fight the dinosaurs let's make that movie in the meantime uh yeah i i'll I, I get nervous because what bugged me about jurassic world was that they made bd wong's character this like evil kind yeah. of conniving sneaky guy and he, he wasn't that guy in the first one he was just he was just a scientist hired by you know the the richard attenborough character so i i it, it makes me a little nervous that they're doing this i'm gonna buy it though because i like james cromwell mm. as an actor i think he him and charles dance both have that ability to yeah. be like either like really good you know patriarch figures or they can be a little conniving a little weasley a little evil even so james cromwell was that to richard attenborough's character because look when you meet him in Jurassic Park, you're like, this guy This guy figured out how to get DNA out of mosquitoes, or did he have other people helping him? So he, I'm sure he had other people helping him. Are we sure that Benjamin Lockwood, the name, was never mentioned in the movies yeah. or the novels, the people who've read the novels? No. 
No. It was never mentioned. Never mentioned. Okay. You, I mean, you guys all had me second guessing myself because I know that movie word for word with books, mm -hmm. there's a lot more words in books. You know, Ellis, right? Oh, no, you don't. Too many. <laughs> oh. Too, many. Too many words. But, you know, in, in that book, a big thing is, you know, InGen versus Biosyn, and there's a whole bunch of people in charge, important names. And, you know, for all I know, in my five, six, seven readings of it, I could have missed someone like lurking in the background or or that one time where John Hammond was like, oh yeah, like my, my partner in the background that you guys yeah. don't know about, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that this character does not exist. <laughs>